this demonstration we're going to have a look at custom folders and we're going to use our custom folders to actually set up a folder that's going to be specifically used by the accounting department for the Contoso project. When they're going to set retention on that folder for two years and after two years anything in that folder will be deleted. So what we'll do first of all is we'll just manage our custom folders, create a new managed folder and we'll call Contoso project. What we then have is we've got the display name that will be shown in Office Outlook. We set up a little message just to say that all items in this folder are to be used by the Contoso project. And will be deleted after two years. We'll ensure that users can't get rid of that comment. Click New, click Finish. The next thing we'll do here is we'll just set up the Manage Content Settings. So we'll call this Contoso Manage Settings. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set the length of retention for when items are moved into the folder, whether we're going to permanently delete the email after the specified length of time being two years. We'll click Next at this point. We won't bother with journaling, but we could forward emails on to somebody else in the group as well, just for auditing purposes. Click Next, click New, click Finish. So this is now created. The next thing I need to do here now is just create a folder mailbox policy. So we've done the folder, we now need to assign it to something really. So we'll come to our Manage Mailbox Policies. We'll just create a new Manage Folder Policy. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to call this Accounting. We we'll specify the manage folders that we want to link to this policy. We'll go for our Contoso project. We'll click OK. We'll click New. We'll click Finish. Now what we want to do is assign this policy to a group of users. So I'll come down to Mailbox. I'll highlight all of the users in the accounting department. We'll right click at this point here and go to Properties. Next thing we're going to do is come to Mailbox Settings. And what we want to do here is come to Records Message Management. We'll then click Properties on the Records Message Management and what we want to do here is we just want to set up our Managed Folder Mailbox Policy. So we'll browse through here, click on Counting and click OK. We'll enable Retention Hold for items in the mailbox and what we'll do here is we'll specify a start date of now, specify an end date of wherever it goes to. Click OK, click OK and it's telling us here we've got all the retention in place. Click OK at this point here. Say yes that we are going to assign this managed mailbox policy and it's telling us that Outlook clients older than Outlook 2007 do not have all the available client features and older than 2003 are not supported. So we'll just say yes. Say yes to this policy as well. Yes to this as well. So we've now assigned that to our three users. So now that we've put this in place, the next thing to do here really would be to go into um, Outlook and what we should find is we have the Contoso project folder. So that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.